Hello guys, Jacolo here, welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Engineering, a show in which we will take an engine, look at it, dissect it, research how it works, and in what decks it is going to work. This time as June is the month in which we celebrate Children's Day, I decided that since we're all big babies, we'll look at something quite plush. As you probably noticed, we'll be looking at the Tlaffle engine. It became a thing in November 2015 with the release of Dimension of Chaos Booster Pack, since it contained the essential card for it, Tlaffle Wings. The engine has been used in various decks ever since, with little success now. It does provide a significant consistency boost, however downsides can be detrimental in some decks. The base of the engine is 3 fluffle bears, 3 fluffle wings, and 2 or 3 toy vendor. We can also add fluffle dogs for additional search power and foolish burial goods to send toy vendor to the grave in order to activate its effect. The way this engine works is rather simple. All you need is to use Fluffle Bear's effect, which makes it so we discard it and set Toy Vendor from your main deck. The next is for you to get Fluffle Wings into the grave. You can either use Toy Vendor's effect, any other card effect or current engine. Once you do that, you banish Fluffle Wings together with Bear to draw a card. After that, you send your face up Toy Vendor to the grave to draw an additional card. This activates Toy Vendor's effect in the new chain, allowing you to search for any of your Fluffle monsters. When it comes to Dog, like I mentioned previously, it's not necessary for the engine to work, however it helps you plus even more. When it comes to the engine's pros, they are as follows. The engine is at least a plus one, it gives you a good graveyard setup, a discard fodder, it has decent searching ability, and can complement with other engines, especially if those are milling or light center. Like every engine, the fluffles also have their downsides. The thing that comes to mind first is that it is a rather specific engine. You need specific cards in order for it to work. Also, it's a bit big. If you're maxing out on everything, it can go from 9 to 12 cards. Also, it's not that splashable, which can be considered an issue. This engine is obviously most suited for fluffles, however if we're taking anything else into account, the deck you should use it in is preferably a greater to line. Something like light swarms, anything that can use the brilliant fusion engine. Also you have to remember that both fluffle wings and bear, as well as dog, are fairy type monsters, so you can also abuse it this way. To keep it short, the engine is most useful in decks that have a built-in way to get fluffle wings into the grave so we can activate its effect. Well, that does it for this episode. It was actually quite fun to look into the land of plush toys. I hope you liked this episode and if you did, please remember to leave a comment or a like. See you next week when I'll be streaming a Yu-Gi-Oh game on YouTube and a non-Yu-Gi-Oh stream will happen on Twitch. The link is in the description below. See you then, bye bye!